This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the CS Fundamentals course, and I'm on the lesson for loops with B. I'm working on puzzle 9. You've got this. What should your increment be to collect 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 nectar? All right, don't let that word increment scare you. It means how much we count by. So far, we've been mostly counting by 1. In the last puzzle, we counted up by 2. But if you're going 1, two, three, your increment amount is one. If you go one, uh, three, five, seven, your increment, you're adding two each time. That's what they mean. First of all, we need to navigate the path. So I'm just going to start without any loops, making sure I can figure out what we're doing here. I need to move forward. And once the B moves forward, am I going to turn right? And then I'm going to move forward again, I think. And then I should be on the flower, but let me go ahead and turn left. Let me give this a shot, because I think... Perfect. I'll worry about getting the nectar in a sec. Now let me see. I should probably move forward again. Then I want to turn right, forward, and then I'm going to want to turn left, I think. And notice... Right? Because this kind of looks like stairs. I'm repeating code, which we don't want to do. Thankfully, we have a loop we can use. So I'm going to... Right? This is the exact same. Let's not do that. Um, and what I would do, though, at the end of this is w that's when I'm on the flower. So right now is when I want to get nectar. The problem is, is I'm going to want to use a loop because I need to get nectar more than once and it's going to change. So I want to use a loop that also uses a variable. All right, let's go to loops. First off, I know, I know I want to use this code to move through the uh, board or down through the squares, right? Because I want to repeat my movement so I don't have to write them over and over and over again. So that's a good starting point. Now, this is the code that takes me from one step to another. And I can test this just by hitting run. So right now, this all this code is going to run 10 times, which is too much. But see, it's going to take me to each step. So that part we got down. The part we need to figure out is how to get nectar. So in the previous levels, they've been using this repeat loop inside their larger for loop. And you control it with a variable. So let's try that. Oh, I don't have anything in there. Whoops. Get nectar. And I should only get one here because it counts one. Now two. Now I'm going to get three nectars. Now four nectars. Right? Five nectars. And the reason I'm doing that is because we start counter at one and we add one each time. So the first time when I get to the three, I get one nectar. Because how many times do I repeat this? Well, counter starts at one, so once. Then I loop back through and I start moving again. And if counter was one before, well, once we hit the bottom of this, counter was one and count up by one. So now that's two. So I'm going to get two nectars here. Right? Now, what do I need to do? I need to figure out what to increment by. Well, what number do I want to start at? I guess I want to start at 3, right? Because 3 was the starting number here. So the first one I want to start at is 3. I want count to be 3 because I need to get 3 nectar. What do I know I want to end at? Well, the last one is 15, my last flower here. So I know I want to go 3 to 15. Now, the steps in between, well, what do they add each time? 3 to 6 is, well, plus 3. What's 6 to 9? Plus 3. What's 9 to 12? Plus 3. 12 to 15 plus 3. So let's count up by 3. Let's give this a shot. And this is us incrementing by 3. We're adding 3 each time through the for loop. Ta-da! Awesome. Onward!